dear student today is my third lecture regarding the differential equation now i am going to discuss some fundamentals we have told we have discussed in our previous lecture some fundamentals of ordinary differential equation we have discussed some fundamental concept of the definition of ordinary differential equation partial differential equation and the order of the differential equation being lack of the time we have not discussed the full this is the second part of this uh, lecture now uh, we have discussed the order of the differential equation of the different ordinary differential equation now today i will today i will give you and i will enrich your next fundamental concepts of the differential equation ordinary differential that is the degree of the differential equation what do you mean by the degree of the differential equation uh, Uh, one thing you have to notice that what um, so far we have discussed about the order of the differential equation and now i am going to discuss about the degree of the differential equation but these are all regarding to the ordinary differential equation if it is not mentioned it is partial differential equation then we can assume that it is discussed regarding the ordinary differential equation so the degree of the ordinary differential equation uh, what do we mean by the degree of the ordinary differential equation the degree of the ordinary differential equation is the degree of a differential equation is the power of the highest order derivatives involved in the equation after it had been made rational sorry there is spelling mistake made rational and integral as far as derivatives are concerned <coughs> if we give some examples here then it will be easier to you to um, accept the concept of the degree of the differential equation so the highest order derivatives the power of the highest order derivatives involved in the differential equation it should be mentioned and one thing one more vital thing is that the equation must should be rational or integral part that is fraction free that is fraction free so now we see the examples equation number 11 d2 for d x4 plus 4 into dy dx whole square equals to 0 here the fourth order differential equation it is the fourth order differential equation and the highest order derivative here is d4y dx4 and here there is no fractional part involving in the derivatives so the power of the highest order derivatives involved d4y dx4 here is nothing that means 1 so the degree of the differential equation 11 is 1 and now we if we concentrate in our problem number 12 here we see that d 2y dx 2 plus 5 d3 uh, dy dx to the part 3 by 2 plus 3y equals to 0 here one thing you have to notice here that 3 by 2 there is a fractional part so fractional part involved here we first it should be removed the fractional part so what technique do we introduce here that is if we take the fractional part in the left hand side and take rest of all thing in the right hand side then 5 dy dx to the power 3 by 2 equals to minus 3y minus d2y dx2. If we 
squaring both sides then the left hand side would be rational free that means 125 dy dx cube equals to 3y square plus d2y dx square plus 6y into d2y dx square so here we see that this is fully this is fully rational so here the ordinary differential equation involved here the order of the differential equation d2y dx2 and the power of this is now become 2 so d2y dx2 is the order of this differential equation is 2 and the degree of the differential equation is 2 and the last one is last one is last one is given as the last one is given as the nth order differential equation and here the degree of the nth order differential equation is degree of the different nth order differential equation is 1 because dn dy dxn has a power 1 so this is 1 and now <coughs> we give one another most fundamental concept regarding the differential equation is linearity this is the most vital one to solve a differential equation we first we have to know whether this differential equation is linear or not because linear ordinary differential equation is solvable but nonlinear differential equation all of these nonlinear differential equation is not solvable so to know the procedure how the differential equation is can be solvable then ordinary differential sorry linearity concept is very vital so what do we mean by linear differential equation if a differential equation this is the definition basic definition if a differential equation is first order independent variable y and its derivatives consequently there cannot be any term involving the product of the dependent variable y and its derivative then it is called linear differential equation so two things we have to remember here that first one is that there is there should not be any product between the dependent variables and the derivatives one thing and the second thing is that it should be first degree because if degree is greater than one then it can be written as a product form if dy dx2 whole square then it can be written as d2y dx2 into d2y dx2 that means product of the dependent variables and the derivatives so it should not occur in a linear differential equation this is the very common features by seeing these we can say that uh, this differential equation is mm, linear or not now if we follow this uh, order uh, we can follow this example then we can easily clarify the way that this differential equation linear or not first one that means here equation number 14 dy dx plus 3y this is the most simplest one difference or in first order ordinary differential equation and it is linear form because there is no product of dependent variable and the derivatives okay now we go to the second one d2y dx2 plus 5 dy dx plus 3y equals to here. Here this is also linear because there is no product term here. This is order, this is the order of the differential equation 2 but second order differential equation but this is there is no product of the dependent variable and the derivatives. So this is and the differential equation 16 differential equation 16 is the nth order linear differential equation nth order linear differential equation and nth order linear differential equation 
and this is linear differential equation because all of these coefficient are function of x only and equation number 17 what do we mean by equation number 17 equation number 17 gives d2y dx2 plus dy dx plus y into sin x equals to 0 here we see that there is no product between the derivatives and the there is no product between the derivatives and the dependent variables and what is in the second uh, in the last d2y dx2 plus x into sin y equals to 0 here sin y occur in here and y sin y is not a linear function this is sin y if we expand sin y then we can get y sin y equals to y minus y cube by factorial 3 plus y to the power 5 by factorial 5 then so on that means power of some dependent variable occur in that differential equation so we can't say uh, so this is not a linear differential equation it is non-linear differential equation first order differential equation any differential equation of first order can be written like that dy dx equals to f of xy f x y is a function of x and y and can be written in the symmetric form m dx plus n dy equals to 0 m dx plus n dy equals to 0 this can be written like that this is the most general linear form of the differential equation dy dx plus py plus q equals to q p and q are either function of x or constant if p and q are both constant then the then this can be solved by our variable separation method and we will discuss this in our next lectures how do we solve differential equation there are so many techniques there so we can say like that and this is the general form of the linear differential nth order linear differential equation that is dy n dx n plus p dn minus 1y dx and go through it and p1 p2 pn q are all constant or function of x alone if we put p n equals to 1 and q equals to 0 then we can obtain dy dx equal to p1 y equals to 0 this is the first order homogeneous linear differential equation this is the simplest one first order linear homogeneous differential equation equation number 13 produce is and equation number 22 uh, gives equation number 22 gives the nth or the general form of the linear differential equation of nth order and equation 23 gives the first order linear differential equation homogeneous because the right hand side is 0 if q equals to 0 then it is called homogeneous and uh, if n equals to 2 and q equals to 0 the given differential equation d2y dx2 plus p1 dy dx plus p2y equals to 0 this is the called the second order homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficient if p and p1 and p2 are constant then it is called yeah. there are some very good technique to solve this type of differential equation we will solve differential equation of this type in our next preceding lectures thank you so this is today we have discussed about some fundamentals of differential equation so that we when we solve some differential we have to solve some differential equation these things will help us whether this differential equation is solvable or not and which type of technique should i introduce to solve this differential type differential equation that's why this is today okay have a good day